If your mindset is the one thing keeping you from creating the financial freedom you desire and deserve, then here are three mindset shifts to help you build wealth. These life-changing shifts helped one of my students increase her income and get an 824 credit score in a matter of months. And they can do the same for you as long as you stick around to the end to do the exercise I'm going to share. First things first, the first shift you need to make is from feeling like you need to control your money to collaborating with it. I know you've heard people say, oh, I need to get in control of my finances. I need to be in better control of my money. But guess what? Who wants to be in a relationship with someone who is controlling? Because we talk about money and we say, my relationship with money. So if that's the case, think to yourself, if you've ever been in a relationship that was controlling, did you enjoy it? Did you want to sh be with that person, show up, stick around? I know I personally was in a relationship where power and control was a factor and I stayed in it for far longer than I needed to. I will never go back to a relationship like that. So think about money in a relationship with you. Who wants to control it? Every time it tries to move, you're upset. You're agitated. You think a certain way about it. You talk a certain way about it. So shifting from trying to control your finances to collaboration, to communication, to connection is going to foster a healthy relationship where money is going to want to be with you. It is going to chase you down. You'll become more attractive and it's going to be able to help you fulfill your goals so much faster. So you want to make sure to audit your relationship with money and be really honest in seeing maybe you've been a little toxic with money. Maybe you've been trying to control it and keep it from moving around and it wants to be free to flow, to come and to go. So like I said, the experiment's coming at the end and I think it's gonna help you really change your life in a matter of days even, as long as you're able to actually follow through. You actually don't even need to budget, honestly. If you, instead of budgeting, focus on having healthy boundaries, your money is going to do wonders for you. Here's the thing, when you're growing up and you either learned how to create boundaries or didn't, a lot of us did not create, learn how to create the most healthy boundaries, that seeps into our relationship with money and then how we handle and interact with it. So you want to be thinking about your boundaries in general, but also the boundaries you have or lack when it comes to money. So if you create a plan for your money, which we hear called a budget, right? But you actually need a system. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, then you are breaking your own boundaries when you act outside of that plan. Now, here's the thing. You need to include incidentals in your plan. You need to include miscellaneous in your plan. This is why you want to have an emergency fund because it's a slush fund for you to have leeway and a buffer for when life happens. So many people, because they're trying to control their finances, create a restrictive budget and then are upset when it doesn't go as planned because really the foundation is cracked. So how can you shift away from focusing so heavily on the budget and start to focus on your boundaries with money and how you can make those healthier over time. One of the things I hear a lot of ladies talk about is wanting to feel more confident about their money and wanting to be able to uh, see themselves, right, as better at managing their money. And I think I come across as confident, but it's not confidence that you see. It's courage and conviction. I'm convicted, I was convicted to pay off over $90,000 worth of debt. And because of the conviction, I had to act in accordance with the plan that I created. I had to have the courage to do things I had never done before. And so in your journey, instead of being comfortable and complacent, ooh -ooh, you want to start thinking about how you can be more courageous and what are you truly convicted about when it comes to creating financial freedom. This isn't just about green pieces of paper with dead people's faces on it. This is about the legacy that you wanna create. This is about what you wanna pass down to your family and friends and your community. This is about the causes that you feel so passionate about supporting that require you to get really serious in your journey so you can write some big old checks 
to make sure that organizations that work toward this cause that you care about are funded. And so conviction is something that makes you come across as confident, but confidence is really the result of the courage to show up in a plan that you feel convicted about executing. Your experiment, write a letter to money, an apology letter. Because if you've been trying to control it, it might be a little upset with you. <laughs> I talk about money like it's a person, it's not, but right, this this is called externalizing from the therapy world. We're going to help you externalize this situation. Write a letter to money and apologize and say, hey money, you know what? I've actually been trying to control you and that wasn't my intention, but the impact is there that, that's, you know, just the same. What I really want is for us to get along to communicate, to connect, to work towards some really fun goals together. And I would love for you to let me know how I can be better in this relationship with you. And here's what I plan to do to be better on my own. I'm gonna set 30 minutes aside a week to spend with you, to look at bank accounts, to think about our vision together, to you know pay certain things down or ask questions if I'm in a coaching program, get support, reach out to someone to see how they might be able to help me. And I would love for you to make it really clear with whatever signs possible that I'm headed in the right direction. Thanks money, just sent. I don't know, just make something up, okay? But write a letter, I am serious about the experiment. This is class, okay, whenever you show up here. And then let me know how you feel about this letter that you've written and if anything pops up, all right? Thanks for being here. I hope that this has been helpful in some way, shape, and form. If so, like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. And I look forward to sharing many more mindset shifts with you in the future.